Today I'm be reviewing the campaign and zombies for the new COD. Now the reason I'm not reviewing multiplayer is because I have a thousand friends and I always have 200 players uh, plus online on my friends list but nobody is playing the new COD and after a recent bug that I'll get into I'm not even going to be touching this Call of Duty really further. I might do the Easter egg just because I already have everything maxed but other than that uh, I'm not buying the new COD. I'm just done with COD but let me get into my review of why I'm done with COD. So, I like doing the campaign on Veteran on COD. I have in the past, but it's just gotten to the point like this. This campaign was just so easy. I beat it in under eight hours, blind playthrough on Veteran, like under 15 deaths, half the deaths coming from the airplane mission, not realizing the timing on the bomber, and then the second drop down on the, the second bomber. But the airplanes took me out a couple times, but. Um, almost no deaths running through the game from the enemies. I mean, it really was fairly easy. Most of the missions were fairly short. Um, just found it overall too easy. Was not impressed with it. Zombies, I think the new zombies would have been really cool, but they made a significant problem with solo and multiplayer where they had put two very close quarter maps, the staircase building map, and the building map now when you do these on wave 15 plus solo it's generally a death trap if you're not just throwing symbol monkeys even on four player plus 20 plus and once you get to 40 plus basically the only way to win is to just constantly spam spam symbol monkeys and personally i just do not find that fun i, I don't want to win waves by just throwing symbol monkey after symbol monkey and walking through the wave or waiting for the timer to end. I like the old COD where you could just run around. Now if these new uh, wave, I mean not wave, but you know um, what it is, these missions, if you could actually run around and evade the zombies and eventually wear them down and kill them and progress, that'd be cool. But it's just not that. The more fun part is after you beat that, just fighting the intermission battle. And I think that's kind of stupid and backwards. But, yeah, um, I was not impressed with the new zombies. And to top it off, I unlocked every diamond skin. And it was a waste of time because Dark Ether didn't unlock. And I contacted Treyarch and they can't even unlock the skin for me. Even after providing them proof in my gamer tag and everything that I have all diamonds for all classes. Like I literally wasted six days on the double XP grinding around the clock. Getting all these skins for the, the weapons I'll never use. All the camo challenges completed. And the Dark Ether skin that I wanted to do the Easter egg with and just to have. I uh, didn't even unlock. And I don't know if it'll ever unlock because Treyarch can't unlock it for me. So, now yeah, I'm done with COD next year. Um, I'll either be getting another potential really cool game that I might try out, or I'll be getting Halo or Battlefield. I've done COD for years. I've been doing COD since the first COD. I, I got pissed off after, not really pissed, but like, was it Black Ops 3, I think? Uh, I took a break for like two, two of them after that. And then I came back, wasn't really that impressed, took another break for a year, came back for the last two. I had a problem last year with one of my diamond skins, but I, I got it to unlock like shortly after. But um, this year is probably one of my least favorite CODs ever. I'm, I'm, I'm just done with it. Uh, Halo and Battlefield both have cheaters on the game right now. Go figure, no company can go fix the PC uh, training programs want to put crossplay on and but they can't fix the preventing these training programs from getting in and cheating and other exploits but yeah that's my review of cod um i, I think it's consensus too from a lot of people i play with like all my friends like i don't put anybody on my friends list if they can't play and everybody that did play the new COD is already done with the new COD. I just don't see them online anymore. Um, after I told my one friend that was also grinding the Dark Ether that I got all the diamonds and it didn't unlock, I haven't seen them online in COD in four days. And that's all he was playing until then. 
So, um, I think the consensus of like all my friends also that I have seen in the past that have played the multiplayer first, none of them are playing the multiplayer. So, I, yeah, I, personally, I, I just think this new COD is a straight bust. And honestly, I'm done giving COD a chance. That is, that's my review of the new COD. I hope that helps.